for class for that and Bob Rock and Rubens I agree. I saw this article um, how women are attracted to different male faces depending on where they are in their monthly cycle. For example, when a woman is ovulating, she likes a man with sharp, rugged features, but when she has PMS, she likes a man with a rusty hatchet in his forehead. <laughs> I had a fun day last Friday, went for my colonoscopy, that was good. The day before was fun, I never realized how enjoyable it could be to drink the jello whilst sitting on the toilet. The doctor had to fill me with so much air, my beige purse felt like a five piece set of luggage. It wasn't good. Since my test went so well, my husband decided to go for his colonoscopy. And he was really nervous, so I told him to relax and go towards the light. <laughs> a colonoscopy is called something else when a man has it done. What is it? Oh yeah, brain surgery. <laughs> Needless to say, they didn't find a thing. <laughs> Remember, friends are God's way of making up for your really shitty family. And alcohol never solved anything, but then again, neither does milk. Thank you very much. Tree and I'm about 40 feet up, and I'm like, hey, there's, there's turkey over there. 
Don't move, don't move. My buddy's looking at me like, give me this dead eye, like, look at your phone, look at your phone, look at your phone. There's turkey over here, I'm about to kill these mothers. She's like, I have to take a shit right now, okay? I'm turtle popping, so fuck the turkeys, we're going up front, all right? I gotta take crap. Like, dude, it's like 9.30, we've been here since 6, just chill it out, we got another three hours. No, I'm gonna poop my pants, so we gotta go, all right? Uh, but hunting is fun, is, you gotta have patience, which we have none of that. We uh, sat there and dicked around for a while, and all of a sudden, as soon as we're getting up, grab our guns and shit, we turn around, there's two deer staring at us. He's like, really? We, we sat here for four and a half hours, and five minutes left, and there's four deer that walk over. Ugly. So, you're out there, sit to the last possible moment, all right? Hang um, on, we hear my cup coming. Uh, I, do have, I do have a buddy. Um, he actually was just recently single. He's uh, He's been sober about 50 days now, so he was a, I say a raging alcoholic, but he was a raging alcoholic. Um, so he, he decided to substitute pot for alcohol. You know, kind of one of those things, you know? Uh, so anyway, first, first, night, first night of being single, 10 hours in. Man, I've always wanted one of these. Hey, nice. Appreciate that. Uh, anyway, he's 10 hours single, so the guy's like, you know, I'm going to get all prettied up. Shaves his pews, does the whole nine, you know, whatever. I didn't know guys do this, i got to be honest. Does any other guy out there blow dry their hair or the rest of their body? Apparently my buddy does, yeah. Well, just for future reference, if you ever do that again, um, make sure you're paying attention to what you're doing, because apparently he took a big bone rip and then immediately went over and put his dick on the, on the blow dryer. Burn the shit out of it. So he's like, I'm still going out fucking. He's like, I'll, I'll tell him the leopard prints a little herpes. I'll throw in a, a condom. We'll be good to go, you know? Don't do that. All right? Seriously. Ever. It's bad news. Bad news. But, uh... I need this one. I got a good, I got a good thing to talk about. Has, has, has anybody ever smoked salvia or even heard of it? Anybody? All right. Apparently it was, apparently it was legal about ten years ago. What was it? Yeah, exactly. There are YouTube videos. If you guys ever want to check it out, go on YouTube. Look up Guy Gardens on Salvia. All right. Funniest shit in the world. The guy sits there. He's like, all right. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this little plant here. We're gonna we're gonna dig it up. We're gonna, we're gonna plant it. Make it look real good. And then I'm gonna smoke some salvia and see how that goes. So he grabs the plant. He's like, all right. You know what? I'm gonna hit the salvia first. We'll be good. Takes a big rip and immediately grabs the plant. And just drops it. <laughs> Gardening is like the galaxy. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. After that. Look up driving on Salvia. That's real pretty. Gets his keys, like, yeah, we're gonna go on a little drive now. We're gonna we're gonna smoke a little Salvia and see how it goes for us. Immediately smokes, drops his keys in his lap and just <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. We're good to go. Yeah, oh yeah. It was beautiful. Seriously, you want a good laugh? Go check it out. Uh, no, a little about me. Like I said, I'm, I'm terrible at fantasy football. I'm bad at sports in general. I don't know why I decided fantasy football, but then, you know, hey, my friends made me do it. Now I'm here two in a row out of the freaking league. It's bad. I, I did survive this year, just in case anybody's wondering. So there's no three in a row, so we're good there. Uh, but I, I am I am now. I'd like to thank these nine guys for bringing this about for me. Uh, but for future reference, anybody that loses two in a row or three, it all carries over, assholes. All right, so remember that. Whoever loses next year has to get paintballed, and then whatever the hell we do next year. So keep that in mind, all right? Uh, no, but I'm, a, I'm, I'm from two big families. I'm German-Irish, so a lot of problems there. You do the math, it's ugly. Uh, uh, no, my mom's one of uh, 10, my dad's one of 12, so we've got 22 reasons why I'm an alcoholic and a drug addict. So, uh, you do the math there. remember at one point a distinct conversation. I don't remember why we sat down. I feel like I got caught smoking weed or drinking beer. I, well, maybe both. I don't know. But uh, they sat me down and it was one of those things like very serious. Like, you know, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. I, I want you to enjoy yourself, but you're going to become an alcoholic. So I probably want to pump the brakes there a little bit. I feel like they took out a list and it went down the page and it was like, you're also going to be an alcoholic, a drug addict, you're going to have kidney stones, you're going to have uh, gulps, you're going to have nine other things. But on top of that, 
you're gonna have Alzheimer's as well, so keep that in mind, all right? At one point, somebody's gonna look at you and be like, you've lost your fucking mind, all right? So keep that in mind. Um, so I've decided, I've thought about this a long time, I'm like, I don't wanna go out not knowing who I am, you know what I mean? I like to party, I like to drink, I like girls, you know what I mean? It's all good, so if I lose my mind, I don't want to be there for it. So I thought when somebody tells me, hey, uh, you've got Alzheimer's, you've got about six months with your brain left. I'm like, okay, well, I always thought, you know, I'm going to go out like, uh, what is it, the Banger Sisters or whoever the frick it is, they get to convert one dry off the cliff. That's unoriginal. Bella okay. Louise! I decided I'm going to go and have some, Bella well, I'm going to drink, Louise. I'm going to smoke, and then, and then have some big lady, I'm, I'm thinking 400 to 500 pounds, just sit on my face, and I'm going to go out with a little puss in my face, all right? That's how I want to go out. I don't know about you all. Let's keep in mind, let's keep in mind, I said puss, but I'm gonna have a smile on my face while I do it, all right? And if anybody, if anybody loves me out there, I'd really appreciate when I'm in the casket, if you just put a cigarette in my mouth and light it for me, that'd be great for everybody involved, seriously. I mean, it's, it's awesome, seriously. Uh, no, but I really appreciate everybody coming out tonight. Uh, Just wait for this next guy. He's fantastic. I, I really appreciate everybody coming out and uh, supporting me. I really do. So, Woo! cheers, guys. Yeah! And I would like to introduce the next comedian, a uh, man that just actually won Funniest Guy in Cincinnati. Uh, known since I was about six. Probably one of the funniest guys I've ever met in my life, Chris Weir.